How's it going? It's Dan from Wazer. I'm proud of the product development team here, and you might recognize my voice from such hit promotional videos as Wazer cuts through Bitcoin. Wazer cuts a knife out of a knife. Wazer cuts China out of China. But today, I'm going to be showing you how Wazer works. I'll be taking you through step by step so you can see just how easy it is. Let's get started. Before you operate Wazer, you must make sure it's connected to a water source. There's many ways to hook up Wazer to water, we're just going to make sure that the water's on. The other end of the hose is plugged into the back of the pump unit. Also coming out of the pump unit is the high pressure line that goes to the desktop unit. Wazer runs on a 110 volt 15 amp breaker, so it can plug into any household outlet. So you can create your 2D files in whatever program you're already comfortable with. Once you're done, you're going to send that 2D drawing file over to our software. There you will place the part on our virtual bed and answer a couple simple questions about material type and thickness. Once complete, simply plug in your computer to the USB from the machine and send over your cut data. Next, before we start running, we're going to want to make sure that Wazer's abrasive hopper is topped off with abrasive. To do that, you'll just open the drawer from the side, pour abrasive through the grate, and then close it back up. Every couple hours of machine runtime, you're going to want to make sure that the abrasive hopper is refilled. We're now ready to load material into Wazer. Today we're going to be cutting a sprocket out of 3 16 inch aluminum. We're going to open the hood, place the material on the bed, we're going to hold it down with fasteners so that it doesn't move while cutting. Next we'll make sure that the nozzle is properly set to the right height using this handy tool. We'll loosen the thumb screw, pull down the cutting head, tighten that back up, and you're good to go. We're now ready to start cutting. Of course, before we start cutting, we've got to close the lid. As an added safety feature, Wazer won't let you cut with the lid open. Once closed, we can hit the start button. As Wazer is running, any excess water gets actively pumped out through this drain hose. Once the part is finished being cut out, we can pull it out of the machine. This particular part took about an hour and a half to cut out on Wazer. Now for the fun job of cleaning up. At the front of the machine, there's an access panel that you remove to reveal four buckets where the spent abrasive is collected. The abrasive is just crushed rock and can be disposed of in a variety of ways. Well, thank you for watching this video on how Wazer works. I hope it was informative. If you've got any further questions, please feel free to reach out. See you next time.
Wardjet's A-Series water jet is a compact yet powerful cutting system that makes no compromise in cutting capability. While the machine itself features an extremely small footprint, it can efficiently process the same materials as our most industrial water jets. The space-saving design of the A-Series makes it a perfect solution for manufacturers, fabricators, and makers who require heavy-duty machining capabilities but are limited by floor space. As with all of Board Jet's water jets, the A-Series is fabricated completely in-house at our Talmadge, Ohio facility. The frame is reinforced with box-welded channels and tie beams that help to eliminate vibration during cutting. The machine's bulk feed hopper and electrical box are encompassed within the front and back walls, and the side walls were extended to deflect splashback. Two optional features reside completely within the boundaries of the tank, including the automated water level control system, as well as Wardjet's abrasive removal system, designed to continuously pull spent abrasive from the machine. To ensure ease of use, an ergonomic toe kick was cut out of the tank walls, allowing the operator to load and unload the machine without bending over. This toe kick also acts as a lift point, allowing the water jet to easily be moved with either a pallet jack or a forklift. The unique engineering of the A-Series side beams offers many advantages over traditional designs. They are comprised of custom extrusions that are mounted to the outside of the machine's tank. By mounting the side beams externally, the major components of the drive system are protected from potential splashback and overspray. The side beams are connected to the crossbeam via two low-profile mounting plates, allowing the crossbeam to hang within the tank and minimizing the gap between the tank and the enclosure. Brush seals were then added to prevent water and abrasive from escaping the tank. While maximizing drive system protection, mounting the side beams on the outside of the tank allows for easy servicing of these components. Some of the most innovative features of the A-Series reside on the machine's crossbeam. While virtually every water jet cutting system features a drive system mounted on the front of the crossbeam, the A-Series drive is mounted on the back. By placing the rack and pinion, linear rails, and motors on the back of the gantry, the drive system is completely protected from a direct hit from the water jet cutting stream. To achieve this configuration, Wardjet engineers designed a custom wraparound that slips over the crossbeam. The motor is mounted to the back of the wraparound, and the cutting head is mounted to the front. Precision machined out of a single piece of aluminum, the wraparound is both lightweight and rigid, allowing it to move quickly while maintaining extreme accuracies. In order to prevent overspray from damaging machinery in the vicinity of the A-Series, an effective yet accessible enclosure was needed. The A-Series enclosure features a sliding hinge door that is easy to open, as well as a safety locking mechanism that will prevent the door from sliding out of place while in position. This innovative system allows full access to the cutting table without obstructing the controller. The enclosure also features an open top, allowing for both overhead crane and forklift access. And the overall height of the structure allows the A-Series to be placed in buildings with ceilings as low as 9 feet. The A-Series controller is accessible, convenient, and easy to use. Mounted directly to the tank, the controller is always within reach, giving operators the flexibility to quickly make changes to the program. Featuring Wardjet's motion control software, Move, the A-Series controller puts the full functionality of the water jet at the operator's fingertips. Available with cutting envelopes of 2 feet by 4 feet or 4 feet by 4 feet, the A-Series can be tailored to meet your business's manufacturing needs. Contact Wardjet today to see how the A-Series fits into your workflow.